David with Ligori Drag Racing and today I'm going to go over updating your ECU and updating it to a different version of the software. So you go up to tools, make sure your ECU is plugged in. I recommend saving all of your maps. So if you have four maps in there, read every single one of them, save them to your files and that way you don't lose them in case something happens uh, during updating. Um, if you update and for some reason you pull the USB cord out or something stupid happens, it can wipe out the ECU. You might have to send it back to Fuel Tech. They might have to reset it and you just got to start over. So save your files. Go to Tools. ECU updater and then if you want a different variation of the software click on variation go to the ECU that you have I have a 600 here if you have a 550 go to 550 if you have a 450 go to 450 so I'm gonna go to 600 and if you want a box or no box version or an NHRA version, an MCA version, you need to download that specific one that you want. So if you want Sportsman Box, download required. I already downloaded the Sportsman No Box, that's why it's not there. Uh, it normally says that. But I'm just going to do Sportsman Box right now. And I'm going to download it. This little box pops up, downloads it real quick, no problem. Right here is your update info. So now that I downloaded Sportsman Box, I have Sportsman Box here and it's updating to version 4.82 and this is all that it has to download. So I'm going to click update. It's gonna go up through, through the update process here. It'll have a check mark every time it goes through and it'll take a couple minutes but uh, this is how you update it, and I'll show you after it updates what it says. Now that it's went through the process, it says ECU update finished, and now it says that, okay, this is open backup directory. So if you didn't save your files, you may be in luck because there's your files there. But... I always recommend to save the files before because if you go ahead and click that backup directory no real quick, you're done. So now it says ECU info. ECU info is what is in the ECU. Variation is Sportsman Box. It's an FT600 4.82. Shows the serial number of the ECU, everything. And that way you know that your Sportsman Box is on there. To also know if you did it right, you can stay on tools, ECU information, variation, sportsman box. If you need to switch it back to no box, go up to ECU updater, click on variation again, go down to your ECU, sportsman no box. I have sportsman box in it now. I want sportsman no box. Click the update button. It will show the same thing. It will show Sportsman No Box here when it's done. And then uh, the delay box and some of the wheelie controls. Um, traction control is all out of there. And that's mostly the changes. And now that you're done updating, open your files from open. Go to the file that you want. Rewrite them to the ECU if they're not already on there. If the update took them out, you need to rewrite them to the ECU.